The East Caribbean Group of Companies of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, ECGC, has extended its range of products produced locally by adding various specialty flours such as herb and garlic, multigrain and rye under the Kerrygold brand. This short program will show viewers how easy it is to use the Kerrygold specialty flour to bake bread at home. It encompasses a special feature utilizing the automatic bread machine for the delivery of fresh bread every morning. ECGC presents Baking with ECGC Special. Flour. Good evening one and all, I have Kufania Woodley here with me. Today we will be featuring Kerrygold rye flour. Kerrygold rye flour is very healthy as is whole wheat. This is the standard recipe for Kerrygold rye bread. Flour, one pound, salt, 0.3 ounces, yeast, 0.2 ounces, shortening, 0.3 ounces, water 8.8 .8 ounces. Carigold rye flour can be found in all major supermarkets in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Carigold rye flour is produced in St. Vincent by ECGC. In this recipe, we will be using rye flour mix, which includes white flour. The reason Carigold rye flour has to be mixed is because rye has a very low content of gluten and white flour is added to raise the amount of gluten. What is gluten? Gluten is a special type of protein that is commonly found in rye, wheat and barley. Therefore, it is found in most types of cereals and in many types of bread. Not all food from the grain family, however, contains gluten. Examples of grains that does not have gluten include wild rice, corn, buckwheat, oats, soybeans and sunflower seeds. Now, we will be showing you how to make rye dough by hand. Can you please show? We have our rye flour. We're going to add up the yeast first in one corner. We will be adding the salt. Right, make sure all is in there. We'll be adding our shortening. Right, very good. And Last but not least, we'll be adding the water. Okay. As you can see, we're actually adding only three quarters of the amount to make sure that we're not putting too much water at once. Right, and uh, Kufania is actually now mixing all ingredients at once. She needs to add up a little water, very good. Now all the water has been added. Okay. Now, this section would actually be there for about three minutes, three minutes of kneading, very important. At one point, Kufania would have to remove the dough from the bowl to the table, because it's much easier to beat the dough on the table. Kufania, how does it feel? It's soft. It's soft? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, do you feel that you're getting a dough so far? Okay. It's coming together nicely. Okay, very good. Would you need some flour? You need a little more flour? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me just give you a little bit of flour. Right. Okay. Now, what she's basically doing, she's just Rolling the dough, as you would all know, and Vincent actually are custom making their, their dough on Saturday and Sunday, the usual uh, bread making session. All right, you see that it's a bit sticky, but rye actually has a tendency of being sticky. You can add a little more flour, right? Okay. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Okay, now let me take over from you. Thank you. I'm gonna show you how to beat that dough. Make sure that it's well, it's well kneaded. You see, all of that is important. It's a bit sticky, but right. It's sticky all the time. See, that's the technique. Make sure you keep it as a ball all the time. 
I keep up all of that, okay. Is ready. We're now gonna cover it up. Let's put a little sprinkle of flour. Use same right, and see you in, in 20 minutes. Nice. Our rye dough is ready to be divided into portions. Here, move it. The most common shape that everybody knows is the loaf. Says we will do a small loaf. Now, loaf can be square, as everybody knows, but today we're going to make it round. The circle, see? Okay, and we're going to use this plate that has been greased before, right? And what we'll do, we'll be covering this and let it proof for approximately, approximately an hour. With the remaining dough, we will do three dinner rolls. And we will do four Gressini. Gressini bread was actually invented in Italy. It's better known here in St. Vincent as breadstick. I'm sure you all know. She's what you do. You do first of all a small shape, about that long. All right. It's a bit sticky, but this is what rye is all about. Okay. Would you like to try? Flour. In the meantime, I'm going to perform the roll. A dinner roll used in most of the hotels here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Right. Not bad. Yes, you carry on. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Now, this is the first. Here you go. Right, use a bit of flour, it's going to help you. Right, very good. Okay, now you can leave it right here to rest for a minute. Okay, and you're going to do the last roll. Right, very good. That's a very good technique. <laughs> very, very good technique. Thank you very much. Now, you see we have different seeds that we use. This is poppy seed and this is sesame seed, along with a little bit of water. That's gonna be our glue for today. Basically what we do, we take our little roll, we dip it in water and we dip it. So we create a new product. One more time. And the third one, to go in the water first. And that will be it. Now for Grissini, you see we actually started with the Grissini to give them a little time to rest. Grissini, it's a long bread. It's a stick. It's a bread stick. Not to beat anybody with, but to eat and to enjoy. Right, you see, now this is basically the, 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 the current size that will, will be acceptable. Okay, see now it's easier to, to roll because it has been resting for a few minutes. Okay? Now, Kofani, Kofania, you're gonna do these two for me using a little, little bit of flour, not too much because you won't be able to roll the eyes. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab then I'm gonna put my three rolls in the pan. Right. Okay, very good. Now, same thing. We're gonna dip. Look like a snake. Am I correct? 
right? And we're gonna rest it in the pan. Do you want to try one, Fania? Right, okay. Right, okay. Very nice. As well, you can use the poppy seed, which is the seed that is next to me. It's, it looks like it's a bit blackish, but more like bluish. Okay, and just put it there. And make sure it's straight. Presentation is key. Very good. And we have the last one. Fania, you can do the last one. Okay, very good. That's very, very good. You see, that gives you an opportunity to, to, to see different roles that can be performed in cinnamon and grenadines. And those actually are very good with cheese or with ham, right? Uh, all made in St. Vincent with Kerrygold rye flour. I'm just going to show you how to turn this bowl of bread to something a bit more interesting. First of all, I'm going to show you a tip. If you ever want to cut a bread and it has to be in a circular way, what you do, you do this. Turn over a cup and you put it down, right? Now, the only action is very simple. See, I'm gonna just do this. See, that way it's very regular and you would look at the end of it and you would realize that it's a perfect circle, right? Now, by using a bit of the water, I'm just gonna base it gently. I'm gonna dry my hand and use a bit of the sesame seed and just drop it on top. Now the idea of that bread is this. You remember that rye has that nutty test? Now when those seeds are gonna be baked, it's gonna even more enhance that flavor and test that we like in the rye bread. Oh, I'm very excited, let me see the result. Let me see what we have. Oh, that's very hot. Oh, look at the development. Beautiful. This is our Carrigold Ray. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You remember the, the cuts that we produced earlier? You see, those actually uh, give you a, a different shape and more interesting bread. I'm sure the kids will love it, right? You should try it at home, right? Just make it once or twice a week at home. Buy our Carrigold Ray flour and just play with it. It's fun. The whole family would enjoy it. This is the standard recipe for Kerrygold rye bread. Flour, one pound. Salt, 0.3 ounces. Yeast, 0.2 ounces. Shortening, 0.3 ounces. Water, 8.8 .8 ounces. Carrigold rye flour can be found in all major supermarkets in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Now, place all the ingredients in the bread maker. We have our Carrigold rye flour. Right, Kufania? Let's get rid of this. We have our yeast coming next in the corner, as usual. Our salt. Our shortening. and our water. Very good. Now you can present that and put it in the machine. Don't forget to lock it. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to perform the selected. I'm going to do all my selection as usual, which I'm going to bake product now for two hours. The size would be a large. We're gonna do a light color and now we can start. Right. The development shown here will not be as good as Kerrygold multigrain or Kerrygold urban garlic because of the lower content in gluten, which will affect the structure of the bread. 
you will all the time find rye bread heavier than any other bread. The result is really good, the crust light brown. Let me just try to remove my bread from the machine. As you mentioned before, remember the development would be a little, ooh, it's a bit hard, but it's there. You see, the first thing we realize is that the development is not as great as different other bread, right? The characteristic of the rye flour bread is that it have a nutty taste, beautiful nutty taste. I'm just gonna cut a little piece just to show you that the bread just came out. It's, it's amazing, it's an amazing product. You see, I can do that, I'm a baker. It's amazing, it's actually, it's crunchy, it's beautiful. I'm sure you can hear, fantastic. Well, a few su suggestions for you, a few ideas for you at home. Carigo rye bread will be nice with fish in a sandwich with ham or cheese, toasted early in the morning or as a healthy start. Ladies, this one is for you. You can have a couple of slices of your homemade bread in your bag going to work. You will be able to share it with your coworkers. Enjoy it.